Beckham at Newburger Berman. Welcome. Thanks, Thank you for joining me here. You know, it seems like every passing month I read another bad stat about the muni market. How tough a year has it been and why do you think it is that there's so much difficulty getting investors to stick with it? It's great to be back on the show. I think, look, 2022 was a really, really rough year in the market and I think that rattled people. But you have to look at where we are right now. And last time we spoke, I said income is back. I think this is a tremendous time to buy muni bonds for a couple reasons. First, the Fed is almost done. The second point is May, as you point out, was a rougher month in the market. We had a lot of supply and we had worries about the debt ceiling debate that pushed muni yields higher. And right now, intermediate muni yields for high quality bonds are around 3.3 percent. That's, that's between five and a half and six percent on a taxable equivalent basis. Right. But I can get five and a half on a one year you know, Treasury bill. This would be over a longer period of time, though, right? We're typically five years or? Yeah. Looking at maturities anywhere from one to 15 years. And I also think right now is a very good time for investors to start adding a little bit of length back into their municipal bond portfolios. One of the things that we're doing on an active basis is we're really focusing on the 14 year part of the curve. And we've been buying that in our intermediate fund. You get a yield for AAA bonds that's over 3% out there. And as that bond rolls down the curve and becomes a 13-year bond, it has the highest expected return of any spot throughout the muni curve. So we really, really like that play in I the market it. right Focusing now. I love it. Focusing on the 14-year part yeah. of the curve, but that's exactly how you kind of, you know, can cherry pick. That's what, as everyone sitting at home is doing this on Treasury Direct right now, so I think this resonates more than ever. Um, what do we say about general, you know, kind of credit quality that issues, um, in, whether it's in terms of regionals or type of operations? What's, what do you think is maybe safest or safest given the risk and, and where might you say, you know, what, those high yields are more of a warning flag, stay away from them. I think we're entering this period of slower economic growth from a position of strength. Muni market and credits benefited from a stronger economy, benefited from all the federal aid. So when things are slowing down, you want to come in from a position of strength. Um, so I think that's, that's something that investors should really remind themselves of. I like essential purpose revenue bonds in this environment, so water and sewer credits. A couple other things that I think are good for investors to focus on, uh, toll road credits. People have changed how they commute into office, so you're seeing toll roads used much more. Oh, you are, even with work from home? Even work from home, because when people do go into office, they are, they are choosing to go in that way. Another area that I think is a great area of focus in a COVID recovery trade are airport credits. Mm -hmm. Travel is back, and if you look at the big airports like a Chicago O'Hare or a Dallas, Dallas Fort Worth, you pick up additional spread to own those names, and I think you're owning very, very safe credits. An area that I'd be a little more cautious on is, is the mass transit yeah, sector. Yeah, absolutely. Because while ridership has bounced back there, it's very unlikely it'll get back to the peak levels How before COVID. How are they going to work out those situations, do you think? More debt issuance, or, or what's, what are their options? They're going to need help, external help. They're going to need new revenue streams away from just the fare box. And, um, you know, we've seen in the budgetary process the year, this year, you know, people are, the politicians are thinking about how do we support these systems because they are critical to the overall economy. Maybe if people wanted to get real risky, they could say, I'm, I'm going out there. They're going to bail us out. I'm going to pick up whatever that 10% yield and get a bailout and it's all going to be fine. It's possible, but, uh, you know, I heard people say the same thing about Puerto Rico bonds and uh, it did not material. So I always like to buy bonds where you you know, we believe in the quality of the credit mm -hmm. and we believe this bond can get to its destination. Good stuff, Tom. Thank you so much for your time. Or Jamie, I'm sorry. My brain's already moving ahead. It's great to have you back. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Jamie Islin joining me from Newburger Berman today. Still ahead, the hunt for yield continues and in its quest for returns, CalPERS is ramping up the risk. Where the state pension fund is looking to put up to $5 billion to work next. Muni Money is sponsored by BAM. Help build America's future with BAM-insured Muni Bonds. The New Deal created American infrastructure that unleashed new opportunity. Today, we're doing it again with massive investment in modernizing our infrastructure to build for tomorrow. At Build America Mutual, we protect your municipal bond investments that help make it happen. Building a vibrant future for our communities and your portfolio. Invest in the future of America with BAM-insured bonds.